morning. Nice to see you again. Um, it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to drag myself out of bed. <laughs> I had a long day at work yesterday and um, I'm tired. But I have to get up because um, I've got a date. Yes, the date. I've got a date meeting a chappy in Marlow. So obviously not going to vlog him. <laughs> I don't think he'd be that impressed. Hi, say hi to the camera. <laughs> Probably, uh, no, not good. Meeting him in a place called Marlow, which is a really nice place. So I thought I'd vlog that and um, see what happens today. See what the day brings. First of all, I need to drag myself out of bed, have a bath and a coffee and get out of here because it's going to take uh, 45 minutes to drive there, which is a bit of a pain. So, I better get on with it, eh? Why isn't your hair down? You're going on a date. I know. I just didn't have time. I didn't have the time to faff about. Ugh. What time is it? 10.35 and I'm supposed to be meeting at half 11. I managed to make it half past 11. Don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. I'm feeling very emotional. Uh, I had a hard day at work yesterday. And, oh, it was emotional yesterday, could have burst into tears. <laughs> I was so happy to go home at the end of the day. Yeah, this morning, a bit emotional as well. A bit stressed, I feel a bit stressed. And sort of things are like getting to me a little bit. So, yeah, it's probably not a good day for a date. famous um, tea shop in Marlow and it's been here for absolutely years. My godmother used to bring me here when I was very, very little and she used to take me out for, you know, tea and a cake. Okay, uh, time check, quarter past 11, 15 minutes. So we need to get my ticket, the car park, and uh, yeah, go meet this chap.
I love that house. Every time I come to Marlow, I look at that house and think how gorgeous it is. With the green and the pebble dash. So cool. Okay, so I have to find white stuff in the shop and the meeting outside of white stuff. Uh, I've got 10 minutes. Yeah, I've got 10 minutes. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. I will report back to you after the date. <laughs> Anybody coming? Chinese hacker noodles and then uh, yeah, home. So my car park runs out in 10 minutes. So yeah, it's been a nice afternoon. Nice to meet Jackie. Uh, we had a lovely conversation. Lots to talk about. Just wasn't, just didn't feel it. And he might not have felt it either. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out later, won't we? Anyway, let's go. Okay, back in the car. Time is 20 past two. Time to go home. Ingredients and home. 
Bye-bye, Marlo. I'm very proud of myself. I went into one shop and it was a bookshop and I just looked at the the display, which was weird because it had two books that I've just bought. Um, massive display of books that I've just bought, so that's good. And then um, I didn't go into any other shoppies, so I didn't tempt myself. Yay! Rose. few ingredients get my coffee because I didn't get one in Marlowe because I suddenly thought I get one free in Waitrose so I'm going to get my free coffee in my cube cup and um, those love home yes we get on with things you know tidying washing and all that always spend slightly more than I should in weight shows, but there you go. So, pack choy. Only choice was in plastic, so what can you do? Um, <laughs> one carrot, which was 15p. Uh, I got myself some fever tree tonic water. The reason I get this one is because, number one, it's elderflower and I love it, but it's in a glass bottle, so fully recyclable, so that's fine. Um, spring onions and then a couple of things reduced. It's got some leek gratin that I can put in the freezer. That was reduced 175. And I've got some Thai spice prawn fish cakes that were reduced to £1.69. I'm home and I've just realised that I've got this. Um, this uh, super oat flapjack mix that I bought when I was at my parents. Um, in a local uh, delicatessen type place um, and it's best before January 2019 so better use it up see how they go I've, I've lined a tray with some uh, greaseproof paper and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it I just need um, butter and honey that's it mix it all together slap it in the tray cook it scoff well it doesn't make much that's for sure but uh, there we go, it's done. So I'm going to stick it in for, what's it say, 15 to 18 minutes until it goes golden brown and then chop it when it's warm. Okay. Morning, guys. <laughs> Sorry I didn't finish the vlog yesterday. I got a really bad headache and I just went to bed. Um, woke up with a headache, but I have since come back from body pump which was hard after so long not doing any exercise. 
Um, and yeah, I'm just running my bath. I'm going to uh, get dressed and, and get on with the day. So um, I thought I'd finish the vlog here, but I thought I'd show you my flapjacks, which came out quite well, actually, after all that. Check these out. Looking good. I put them in the fridge and they hardened very nicely. So they're quite nice, actually. I recommend buying those. Sweet Pea Bakery, I think, if you can find them. Probably in sort of health food shops. Anyway, sorry about the washing machine, spinning my towels. Um, lovely to speak to you again and speak to you soon.